How to buy your first property? Should I just go with the cheapest mortgage rate? Hi, and welcome back. My name is Mark Champ, and over the past 20 years, I've helped property investors find the best way to finance their deals. In this video today, I want to talk to you about buying your first property and how the finance works for this. If you're a first time buyer, either residential investment, buy to let investment, or even looking to buy your first home, I'm going to tell you in three points how you could do this. Before I start, if you're interested in finance, entrepreneur mindset, or property investment, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can receive our helpful content straight away and we can get you on your property investment journey. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Let's get started. First point to be aware of is that lenders want to find out if you are a risky to lend to. Are you? Check out your credit score. This is worth doing as you might have a weaker score due to a problem from several years back. It might be something you had completely forgotten about. Even one late payment can cause credit scores to fall. The easiest way to do this is to go onto an Experian and sign up and get 30 days free. If you see anything causing a problem, then work towards paying it off. If there are any errors, then report them and get them amended. You need to have borrowed to have a ranking. You can do this by buying a large ticket item, charging it to your credit card and then paying it down over the longer term. A lender will see that you're paying regularly, but if you have a credit card that charges interest, they will also see that you are able to pay debt and that they can earn interest from you. Second point is to know what you want to buy. This sounds obvious, but identifying the type of property, the area, etc., you can then concentrate on the specifics and when you're ready, you can then get yourself a mortgage broker. Why would you want to use a mortgage broker? Surely it's just another cost and you could instead choose the cheapest mortgage rate. Brokers like myself source the best rates for your property investment, but they also make you aware of the pitfalls. They raise important issues that you might not notice. Issues which may come back and bite you sometime in the future. Using a broker is particularly helpful in the commercial sector. They ask the questions for you. Does the lender have set up fees? Are there any early repayment charges? Will the lender penalise you if you don't pay down your mortgage in time? The mortgage broker will give you this information. You will know what the pitfalls are and you won't get any nasty surprises later. The final and third step is to educate yourself about the hidden costs of buying a property. In addition to payments, a broker like myself, there will be money required for the solicitor and the solicitor's disbursements. The expenses a solicitor has to pay out on your behalf for stamp duty and for finding the property if you're not sourcing it yourself. Then there's also any refurbishment cost, where one tip is to always factor in more than the refurbisher's quote. Investigate. The more you find out, the better your property investment journey will be. Buying a property is an exciting step. It's a long-term process, but there is help along the way to ensure your success. Hit the like button and let me know if you have any questions or if you would like help in any other areas. Thank you.